two touchdowns against Georgia Tech last year. Off the right side past the 30. Second and five. He fakes the pitch and keeps. And comes up about a yard short of the line to gain, bringing up third down. play here for Georgia Tech. A third and three. Davis out of the shotgun looking left. Now looks right. Pressure up the middle and they got him. I in there Ely. Davis had time in the beginning and then Ely comes on the delay blitz right up the middle. They can't pick him up in a much needed defensive stop. This game's been back and forth since the jump. Hand off. Reed. He goes nowhere the guys together as you see him make this tackle. And that's what you would expect from Georgia Tech, right? Win at the point of attack, win up front. So after the penalty, Dart knocked down in the backfield for a loss. Inside blitz there by the linebackers, a crossfire stunt. Charlie Thomas goes first, Ely comes second. A nice play by Clemson. He's really picked up the slack. Off play action, Dart who started the game in trouble. Sack, or do they say that his arm was going forward before he was taken down? Ely had him wrapped up. Hard by Dart just to get rid of the football outside the tackle box. Again, we've said Ely's name a lot today. Maybe it's matching day because I don't know if people realize it or not, but <laughs> Tom Luganville, Dave Pash were in the exact same. It's going to stop here before the break. In trouble. Dart being chased. Throws back across the middle. Keeping contained and a nice job by Ely getting contained, forcing the air and throw by Jackson Dart. Goes late back across his body to the middle of the field. An outstanding job by Jalen King, mirroring the eyes of Jackson. Three receivers and a man of candle with Slovis here. Straight drop, pressure coming, and Slovis again will try the ball. Got tipped at the line of scrimmage, so they're quickly on three pass attempts, Roddy. But once again, pressure right up the middle. It was indeed tipped, looked like on the right side of your screen. Number two, Ace Ely. Gets a hand on that ball. Fine, and it's your Labanda Cannon. Here is the toss of Labanda Cannon trying to get to the edge and gonna lose some ground. Great run pursuit, Ace. Got Wayne here to the boundary. Tight end and two receivers to the left. There's another long throw and trying to come back is Kanate Mumfield. Made an impact in that one. He has been excellent, already six tackles. Vincent Davis for the injured Israel Labanda Cannon. The ball fumbled, but did he hit the ground first? Georgia Tech says they have it. They do at the 34-yard line. True freshman from Westlake in Atlanta comes up with the loose change. Let's see. He was close to the ground. No, that ball is wow. clearly out. Georgia Tech forcing another fumble. Look like that was Ace Ely that forced that one. And yeah, number two comes in there, pokes the ball out. It's on the ground. One play on the field. Something to feel good about early. Here's Slovis trying to flip it out. See what they've got. Second down and short. This is more like it for Kevin Johns now. Little play fake. Leonard running. He just heaves it into his own bench area. Three of seven on third down of the game for Duke. Cluttered pocket. Leonard stumbles and he's going down. Well, they bring the blitz. And it gets there enough to flush Leonard. And Leonard thinks he's got a little bit of speed. Tech and Duke. by Sling TV to start the fourth quarter. Armstrong, a good job avoiding the pressure. Still have football to play third and five. Armstrong forced out of the pocket, and he's going to take a big hit. Receiver 
or Trey Benson running back. Play action from under center. Travis is a wide open receiver and just can't hook up. Tight ends on this team as well. You see Daniel leak out down the sideline, wide open, just uncovered. Walked into the end zone, first drive of the day. Benson trying to make sure they don't have to make that decision. He's close, or told Feely, I should say, but he's going to come up a little bit shy, Mark. Being cost him on Monday at 4 o'clock. Big nice hit that time hit. by Ace Healy. Wow. Look at this play by Ace Healy, number two. Good job of falling back with the tight end. But that includes penalties and turnovers. How about third and ten for Wells and Virginia Tech, and that's not going to be enough at the 22. Miami had 17 penalties in that win at Virginia Tech, 20 to 14. Not much. Their job on the perimeter of attacking these big blockers. Go attack them right now. Set that edge, and they do just that. And these hurricanes. Brown wants to take off. Elijah Green in the backfield, and now we'll go in motion. On the receiving end here, looking for a block on the edge. And down he goes back at the... May, scrambling, running for it, lunging to the five, and that'll be short. If you're gonna go for it, you better have the right play call. Georgia Tech defensively creating havoc and Ely with the big stop. He finds himself in the rare position of being down on the scoreboard to start a game. And now Georgia Tech's defense rallies to make the stop on Bowers for no gain. It... Bennett on a keeper. A little stutter step. Did he lose the football? Is he short as well? The official said he came down inside the one yard line, short of the goal line. Georgia Tech, I thought, knocked the ball out. Zone read. Does he get in as he reaches this ball out? Yeah. Unless he's down before that ball crosses the plane. What a great effort. I don't want him in the shotgun. Lance back on a keeper. Lost the football. And it looks like it's scooped up by Clayton Powell Lee. Defense has created this season. 